right everyone this is part of the base for the Cylon Raider it's a wood frame backwards I've started drilling the hole for the switch that hole's not big enough I want got a bigger drill bit and it, the bigger drill bit will work and we'll put a power plug on this side it's going to be able to go back and forth between batteries and a wall wart just in case I want to power it by wall this is wood I've been sealing the wood with some heavy primer I don't know if I'm going to get the wood all the way sealed it looks like I might but there's some issues on this edge of it okay the grain is real heavy on this edge over here and on the sides over here so I might stop trying to fill it I may not we're gonna see in a minute I am going to work on filling these over here these spots here because they're pretty bad but that's that's all there is to it I've got some paint it's not here because there's a clear piece of plastic that goes here I'm gonna frost it I'm gonna mask it and paint it I'm gonna put some backlighting down here so that there is an image up here I may not because I'm looking at it and it's gonna be a pretty small area to do the image with so I gotta decide what I'm gonna do with it and the reason for that is I'm putting a cross brace across here for the rod to support this thing this thing's fairly large okay this base is not so large and let's zoom out a little bit more so we got the wrong way so we got a little bit more distance here here's the base here's the Raider and you can see <laughs> yeah, that that's big it'll look it won't look too out of proportion but if I put too much put the Raider down too low you're not going to see anything anyhow okay so what I could do is just put some dots in there so I have light shining on the underside. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Okay, we will see. But I've started working on the base for the Raider. I haven't done the sanding from my seam filling on the Raider yet. And I need to do that so I can put another coat of primer on it. I'm going to start working on that tomorrow. Okay, because I have more time tomorrow. Work is starting to be a pain right now. It is what it is. I'm self-employed, so I spend some time at work. Not much I can do with that either. That is what it is, you know? When you're self-employed, you work. And, well, you got to be happy because I have plenty of work. In my chosen, chosen profession, I have a lot of work. Enough work that I've built up a business with about 15 employees. Well, anyhow, yeah, the sanding's going to go pretty quick on this. I found a good way to sand it. So I'll have the Raider here ready for primer. Another round of primer tonight, actually. I'm not, I may even primer it tonight because this little bit of sanding I'm doing is going pretty quick. I found a good way to do it. All right, I'll be back in a little while. Okay, Salon Raider. I appreciated it. <laughs> I know what some of you are thinking, they ain't appreciating. Uh, it's painting the whole thing. And yes, I painted the whole thing. I'm appreciating this one real heavily dark, okay? Um, I've been watching videos and doing some reading. And I think even the directions for the Salon Raider say this. They painted it black and then they like they did their light gray afterwards. That's gonna be the base for the Cylon. It's gonna get painted black too. And it looks like I got some bad paint interactions, and I am not surprised by that. Hey, it's because I used a primer from Rust-Oleum. And look at it, it's just bubbling everywhere. Why am I not surprised by that? Uh, a little bit of sandpaper and another coat will fix it. Hopefully it'll cure. If it doesn't cure, I'll just do something else for a stand because the contest deadline's coming up pretty quick and I gotta get moving on it. So I just thought I'd let you guys see. I'm not done painting that part yet. Over here, I have painted the canopy and half the guns. I've left the gun barrels unpainted for a reason, which you will see in a little bit. Anyhow, I'll be back later. Hello everyone, we're talking about the Raider, 
been working on it, got the base somewhat done. I'm having a little bit of fun with the base because it decided it was good high time for the paint to bubble as I'm spraying it out of a spray can. So I've got bubbly paint all over the place on the base and the Raider itself. Now that's not a huge deal because some little sandpaper and voila, it comes off. But I had a nice black co co color on this base and I was really happy with the color of this thing. And now I have to remove parts of it and repaint it because it decided to bubble. I had the same problem on the Raider itself. Now there's no um, video on that because I've been working and not doing my updates the way I should. We're near the end of the contest and I get working hard and fast near the end of the contest. Especially since I've really only got a couple of days left on this thing block of wood across the center so I can put the brass tube in. I've got the brass tube wiring and everything of this thing is going to be a piece of cake. It's getting the paint and the finish done. One other thing I'm working on doing, and this is a preview, this isn't the actual piece, is I'm working on the plastic sheet that's going to go over the top of this thing. This was the first trial. I don't like it. So I'm going to do something different all right it's in the works so there you go I'm not showing you any parts of the Raider because they're nowhere in reach of me I'm being messy as I work fast I think some of you understand that and literally see that's stuck on my desk literally parts are everywhere tape is everywhere glue is everywhere one thing, BB did finish her bear guy. So, I'm going to get back to work because I'll have a few more minutes left tonight. Talk to you guys later. I will show you where things are at. Alright, everyone. I'm working on masking the Raider. Um, I already got one wing done. The directions come with paper, mat, uh, paper templates. So, what I do is I tape the paper template to the wing. Then I mask along the edge. Then I mask between. Anyhow, that's what I did over here. It bothers me a little in one spot. Because it doesn't, I can always fix it. It doesn't look like it's tapering right on this end. But I'm going to fix, do this side and then maybe cut that off and redo it. I kept the template right there. I also labeled them so I know which side goes on which. Just showing you what I'm doing with this. Um, again, I'm working fast and hard. The stand was supposed to come out like this, but it broke. If you can't see my, you can see the crack in that thing. So I'm working on redoing it. I'm letting some paint cure right now. And then I want to see if it's impervious to alcohol because the vinyl mask really messed it up. I'm just having a lot of fun with this thing, let me tell you. I'll come back with an update pretty soon to let you know what's going on. Because we're getting near painting time on this one. Alright, back in a bit. Well, I got the wings masked. Top and bottom. The, now, these bottom stripes are supposed to be 7 millimeters wide. And guess what size this tape is by Tamiya? 7 millimeters. It's perfect. And these guys look close enough to me that I am not going to fight with the slight differences between them. They're off just a little bit. I mean, look at them. You can't really tell the difference right there on the camera. I can't tell the difference here. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting this thing gray. It's going to take me a while. Cause it's big. That and this part right here are going to take a while to paint gray. And then I'm going to have some other spots to paint darker gray afterwards and more masking. But I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. Simply because I need to get it done. So I'll be back in a little while and let you see the end results. Alright everyone, I have been very negligent in my updates. Wow, to me a tape in my desk. No good. 
just takes the finish right off the desk. Anyhow, he. Um, I got the first color down on the Raider. This is one of the wings. If you look, you can see some color variations. I'm really hoping the black stripe held up the way it was supposed to. We're going to find out in a little bit. I've got the uh, cockpit painted. And I went a little nuts and did the stair step, the stair stepping. A lot of people don't do that. From what I've been seeing of the builds on it, they just paint the tops of these, which is really easy to do. But I went ahead and did the stair steps. I have a little bit of touching up to get it right. Not much. Just a teeny bit. And this will be done. Um, let me go get the Raider, or the main body. Now, my goal when I was painting this was not to uniform coverage. And you can see it, that I did not get uniform coverage on it. It's still curing up a little bit, so I gotta handle it a little carefully. I got what I wanted on it. A random scattering of coverage, color variations everywhere. I'm about to do the darker gray and then it's done with its paint. I just have to put decals on it. Hey, this has been a journey so far. The guns. Yeah, where'd I put them? I just came back in the room with them. Oh well, it looks like you'll see the guns in the next update. I will be back in a little bit.